Hey guys, Cheese here, and welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, we're back. It's Genesis Day, so we're checking out all the cool new Genesis content. I'm back here in the super scary and rainy bog biome, and we're going to show all the new Genesis items today. That's right, we're going to talk about the, not the spyglass, the fishing net, which is pretty cool, and also, ciao, super crazy wolverine claws. So if you guys like this episode, please do me a huge favor and flex on that like button, yeah! And for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe! Now, if we look at our engrams, there's a lot of new uh, items for Genesis. If we click over here onto the Genesis tab, we can see all the new stuff that's in, the, uh, in Genesis. There's the fishing net, which we're going to look at in just one second. Uh, pressure plate which is pretty, is pretty self-explanatory. It looks like you can use it to trigger doors or, you know, turn lights on or whatnot. Kind of like the, the pressure plates in Minecraft. Very similar. A wood ocean platform, which is pretty cool. Uh, it looks like it's like kind of a floating structure you can build out on the ocean and you can build uh, your bases off of that. So it's kind of like a starting point for ocean building instead of having to build up from the ocean floor or out from the, uh, this, the shore. You can actually just start on this raft type huge thing. The uh, Mega Shalon saddle, probably saying that way wrong. The giant turtle saddle. Anyway, the metal version of the ocean platform. Uh, tech jump pad will mess around. I assume it's a lot like the S plus jump pad. We'll check that out. The mining drill, which uh, sounds really cool. It's kind of a machine that's supposed to mine for you. You can mine rocks and trees. I, I think it's kind of more of an advanced chainsaw. We'll check that out. The Magmasaur saddle, obviously self-explanatory. Then we get, uh, unfortunately, a lot of this stuff is tech. So there's only, uh, without tech, you can get the fishing net, the pressure plate, the ocean platforms, the turtle saddle. Uh, this needs a tech replicator and the mining drill and the Magmasaur saddle. Everything else, it's in Genesis from the tech jump pad, the, uh, the space whale saddle, the tech saddle, the cruise missile, which sounds crazy. Uh, tech shoulder cannons, the tech claws, the tech grenade launcher, uh, tech sensor, an advanced detection and activation system used to automate nearby devices and structures. So that kind of seems like just an advanced version of the pressure plate. Then maybe you don't have to walk on it. You just walk near it. And uh, I'm interested to check this out today. The tech hover skiff. So yeah, all the new stuff we're going to check out. Well, let's put our crazy claws away. And let's see if we can catch some fish. Now, the way the fishing is supposed to work... Oh, it shows me the fish. Look at that. When I pull out my uh, fishing net, see, it shows me the outline of where the fish are. That's pretty cool. Um, so you actually have to catch fish. It doesn't just make up fish, you know, kind of like Minecraft. You have to actually target the fish and throw it. Oh, yeah. no, pull it in. And I think I got one. There we go. We caught one. We did it. Let's go. And our guy was excited. He gives a little fist bump. And uh, it automatically turns it into fish meat for you. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's a one-time use, though, apparently. So every time you use it, it burns it up. And, uh, yeah, so I guess that is fishing. I don't believe you can get any blueprints or items like you could in the previous fishing. I think it's just fish meat. But uh, let's go over to the ocean biome and check out some more stuff. And we're back, and we're over here in the ocean biome. We're going to check out some of these. Oh, if I live. Oh, God. Fall forward, fall forward. All right, we're going <laughs> to... I'm a little heavy. I'm too heavy to jump. Uh, we're going to check out the ocean platforms now, see how these work. I have some in my inventory. So if I just place it... Okay. So it just lets me kind of line it up and place it I want, I think. Okay. It's just a little... Can we see, like... Oh, okay, I'm on the edge of the biome. That's what I'm... I'm running into the actual, like, border, I think. Where am I? Oh, yeah, that's the border. Okay, so let's just place one. Bam! We placed it. Now what? Can we get up on it? How do we get up on it? Um. Oh, okay. It's got built-in ladders in the middle. Nailed it. All right, cool. So now we have a giant... It's pretty big, actually, just to start. Giant platform that we can build off of, I believe. We brought some uh, building pieces. So we should just be able to like build out here and do things. Can we build ceilings like right off of it? No. Oh, over here we can. 
So it looks like the inner uh, wall is like an actual structure. Okay, but it's got arc building. What is that? Wait. Huh. So when I build, try to build something, it's making giant. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why it's doing that or what that means. But yeah, so uh, we can build out here anyway. So you can put like a foundation on it. And we don't have any S plus or any of that stuff. So this is all just vanilla building, but. Huh. So it doesn't let me. Can't place it too far away from the platform. So it doesn't look like you can really make this platform any bigger. You're pretty much set on this size, which is kind of a bummer. Can I? I like how far to the edge. Can I get this deal? If I get it right on the edge. So it looks like that's about as much as you can extend the platform. And if you try to build out any more from that, it's not going to let you. Although it won't let me build that way either now. Hmm. Weird. We're going to have to mess around with these and see exactly how the, the building works. So the inside already counts as like a foundation, a buildable foundation. And you can also build on it sideways like that, which is strange. But you can only build on it sideways that way. What is happening? What? This is weird. How are you going to build a base like this? Like, okay, here's my base. Cool. Oh, what? I can't snap anything to that? So that seems a little borked. I don't know if that's as intended. But you could go this way anyway and build a wall along that way. But yeah. Um, strange. Can we build ceilings off of this? We can. That's really, really weird. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what is happening with the building. Anyway, but yeah, super cool platform that you can build off of. And we made the metal one too, which is about the same thing. But we'll take a look at it anyway to see... What it looks like if it'll allow me to place it anywhere there we go let's check out the metal one Ooh, look how cool the ocean looks though oh here's one of these bubbles let's ride the bubble up just because it's fun and take me for a ride bubble and bloop we're up at the top no oh, dolphin came with me that time every time and other time a dolphin brought me up um, so if we climb up on this platform, it's pretty much looks the same. It's just, uh, it's just made out of metal and same building snap point thing. Are the snap points also sideways on this side? They are. Yeah, that's really strange. I, I'm assuming that's, that's a mistake because you can't really build a square. You can't even make like a square because of the way these only snap that way. But yeah, that's the uh, new ocean platforms. Really cool uh, bases, floating water, taming pens, and all sorts of things are going to be coming onto these. I can't wait to see and build all sorts of cool things. But on to the next item, and we'll be right back. And we're back, and we're back here on the uh, ocean platform. And uh, the Master Builder Funny actually had an idea. It was if you filled the center with ceilings, then you could actually put walls on these weird... Or maybe you can't. Oh, there you go. You could actually put walls around on the spots where there's not uh, snap points. Anyway, the next uh, item we're going to mess around with this is the tech jump pad. Uh, you do need to be tech tier to make this, which means doing the crazy eel boss fight, which is going to be insane. Uh, I haven't delved into that yet, but I just spawned one in to play with it. It doesn't take any power, though. You just put it down and it just works which is pretty neat. So you could like put it around the map. If you wanted to get up something high, you don't need like a generator near there or anything. It's got a uh, different kind of settings, all sorts of settings, the size, the rotation, the force, um, the pitch, all, all sorts of things show indicator. Okay. That's what is that indicating exactly? Not exactly sure what that's supposed to be indicating, but here we go. So you just walk into it and we oh it does it shows the oh it shows the path i see so yeah pretty cool uh you know nothing really game changing there it's a lot like the s plus uh jump pad of before but really cool it's in the vanilla game now you can do all sorts of fun things with it um i've used them previously as a way to like get into my base that didn't have a door you'll like jump up into the top or if there's a spot on the map that's like a really high cliff or you're always trying to get over a certain specific area you can put this and you can just boink and jump over it but let's go check out the next item and we'll be right back and we're back okay we uh got one of these guys the 
Mega Shalon. I still don't know how to. Giant Turtle. We got one of these giant turtle dudes. Um, I force stamped him. This is just my single player world. We're just checking out items and stuff. So I uh, still no idea how you actually go about taming these guys. But I wanted to mess around with the saddle. So let's put a saddle on him and see what it looks like. Bam! And it doesn't really look like much, actually. I kind of expected a little bit more than that. So you have some... Are these benches I can sit on? Nope. So I, I guess these... Those look like they're benches, maybe, if there's other people here. Is there, like, passenger seats? Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. Oh, wait. Passenger seat, board, right, three. Okay. So there are benches. You just have to go, like, passenger seat mode. So that's cool. This looks like it'll carry a whole mess of load of people. Um, it doesn't really give it a platform, as I expected, though. Uh, but I guess we should be able to build off of him now. And, yeah, you can just build. Let's see. Do these have the same kind of restrictions as... Oh no, you'll be able to build even in vanilla like huge cool bases off the back of these guys and uh, Yeah, so we take them for a little little spin here Super crazy slow like the slowest thing ever. Can I go down? Hello? Man came out. Go Go down Turtle? Hello? Can you? Is there like a dive button? What's happening? Why won't you go down? Hello? Can't can't get the turtle to turn or steer or do anything. Go down. I'm pointing down. I'm looking down. Oh, do you have to maybe you have to push C to go down? Is that how this works? No, now he seems to be working appropriately. That was really strange. Yes, yeah, so you can build really, really cool bases on the back of these guys. And uh, as you can see the air bubbles coming off there. They keep you uh, in oxygen, so you don't need any scuba gear or any type of oxygen tanks or anything like that. You'd be able to breathe in your base uh, just from the air that's coming off the turtle. Really, really cool. Uh, new Mega Echelon saddle? I don't know. All right, we're going to go uh, find some new items, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back, and we're obviously going to be talking about this big boy behind me. The Magmasaur. Now, I believe you're going to have to steal these guys' eggs and raise them, much like a wyvern or a rock drake. But uh, for the purposes of this video, we just force tamed one so we can check out his new saddle. So I actually got a saddle for one. There it is. Let's put it on him. Bam! And it's hard to even tell he's wearing a saddle. Oh, dude, it's like, wait, what? It's got like a... Oh, I'm in like the crazy cockpit up there. That's really cool. And he's got... uh. It's got like ropes that go out to the three different horns. And so yeah, I can ride them around. Left click, swipe. Oh, that broke the rock. Is that harvest too? Is that harvesting? Oh, he, he harvests rock and metal? I didn't know that. This guy actually harvests rock and metal. I didn't I didn't know that was a thing. Um, so that's left click. What does right click do? Right click. Oh my god, right click does like a Okay, so you can aim it. If you hold right click in, you can like aim around. I want to shoot over there. And it shoots like a giant ball of lava. Dude, that's crazy. You see that? Oh my god. I want to shoot something with that. Is there anything around? Where's all the bad guys? Alright, there's a pretend bad guy right there. There he is. It's in that tree line. Shoot him. Dude, that. It knocks the trees over too? Wait, does this guy also harvest wood and stuff? You harvest wood? Are you harvesting the wood? He is! He harvests wood too? What? This guy's crazy. What about C? Does C do anything? No, C, X, control, nothing. So it looks like looks like we got the uh vomity left click deal. Off oh, can he just keep doing that? Huh. Looks like he can do it quite often as well. And the swipe. But yeah, this is the Magmasar saddle. Really, really neat looking saddle and a uh, really cool creature that I can't wait to actually tame and get to mess around with. But we're going to go check out another item and we'll be right back. And we're back and we're over here in the snow biome. I took my new buddy, the Smegmasaur, over here. I noticed something uh, interesting about him. Actually, Jenny pointed it out. You can actually enable smelting uh, in this saddle. So if you just hold E on the rotational um, wheel, then... Uh-oh. We're being attacked. Oh no. We're under attack. I can't. Okay. 
Oh, it's all gone wrong now. Eh, leave me alone. Okay, oh, leave me alone. No. I can't, I can't turn and hit this thing. Okay, I'm hitting it, sort of. I hit it one time. It's all gone wrong. Can you get out of my butt, please? There is Eno. So one thing I noticed with the giant turtle and with the mag Magmasaur is uh, if things get up in your rear end, man, it's really hard to hit them. This thing is going to nearly kill me. All right. Finally, we got it. Holy smokes. But yeah, so you can enable smelting on the saddle, but then it, it's like walks around at crafting speed. This is uh, full smelting speed. Really, really slow. But if we turn the uh, smelting back off, hmm, well, we're still really slow. Are we just super heavy right now? Maybe we're just really overweight. Oh, yeah, we are. Right, so we'll just take this, drop all this junk. Here, we'll put this on and we'll see. Right, so this is normal walking speed. But if we're smelting... See, there, smelting speed. Very, very slow. Let's see if we can say hello to this little moose. Oh, here comes something that's pretty cool that I noticed happens on the snow biome. There's actually avalanches every once so often. So here comes an avalanche. It's actually going to do a little bit of damage to us as it goes by. Really, really cool, like, little map effect that they added. I didn't even get to hit that guy. Anyway, enough with the, uh, the Magmasaur and the Magmasaur saddle. Uh, you stay here, Smegmasaur. Yeah, you love the snow. Look at he's all, like, fiery because he's smelting. He's like, don't mind me. I'm just smelting. Okay. Um, let's check out the uh, mining drill. It's our next item on our list. We pull it out. Oh, no, I don't want to. Nope, I don't want to do that. I want to look at it. Dude, it looks pretty cool. Kind of looks like a giant space vacuum of some type. Uh, if we go up to... Are these mineable? Is this harvestable rock? It is. Harvestable rock. Okay, here we go. And... Oh, God. Oh, it destroys it really quick. That's pretty cool. Oh, dude, that's pretty handy, actually. That's way faster than regular mining, for sure. You can just run around and just destroy stuff super quick. Does it do trees and stuff as well? I'm assuming it does. Yeah, like, basically insta-kills trees. So here we go. It's basically like a super advanced chainsaw that also does stone. It runs on regular gasoline. Uh, it's crafted... I think it's just crafted in a fabri fabricator. I don't think it's... Anything crazy. Yeah, crafted just in a fabricator. You need 36 black for pearls, 120 cementing paste, crystal, metal, and polymer. Nothing too crazy, but this is really, really good for resource gathering, for clearing out the area uh, where you want to build, if you just want to deforest the area or de, de, de rock an area. Awesome new harvesting tool. It works really good, and it's actually quite fun to use. All right, maybe that noise is going to get annoying after a while. Oh, did we overheat it or something? I think we... All right, so if you hold it too, down too long, it overheats. Are we good to go again? Starter back up. Let's go. All right, that's the new mining drill. Let's go check out another one of the new items, and we'll be right back. Oh. Oh, never mind. We're going to stay. We're mining a mammoth. Get wrecked, mammoth. Uh oh. He's mad. Oh, we're overheated. <laughs> we're overheated and it's mad. Cool down, quick. Start her back up. Get mined. So it doesn't seem to do a lot of damage, but it's, it puts like a stun on him or something. Cool down, cool down, cool down. He's like stunned. Is it ever gonna kill him? There we go. We killed him. Can we harvest him as well? We can. So you can even harvest like bodies with it. You can murder dodos almost instantly, which is cool. <laughs> yeah, this thing is really fun. Super cool new addition. Uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back on our uh, floating ocean platforms, and I've been messing around with two of the new items: the uh, pressure plate and the uh, tech sensor. They both kind of do the same thing. This one's a little bit more primitive. You don't need tech for this one. You do need tech for and is a, a little bit more complicated. 
But as you can see, I've set up a uh, a pin, a key, a keypad, and pinned this door the same. They're both one, two, three, four. And then I've set the pressure plate to broadcast broadcast pin at one, two, three, four. When I walk over it, and boom! Look at that. You can set your door doors to automatic open for you. And when you walk back out, they'll automatic close. Now, this is just a little very, very simple thing you can do with it. You can do all sorts of other things. You can set up lights and traps and all sorts of fancy stuff. I can't wait to see what people can come up with. But I just wanted to show you guys the basics, very, very basics of how you do these things. And uh, just like that. So what you want to do is you want to go up to your door. You want to set the pin code on your door right here. Set pin code, which I've done. You want to set the pin code on your uh, keypad. And then you want to set the pin code on the pressure plate. Set pin code all to the same thing then when you walk over the pressure plate boom and when you walk over it again it'll close now the same kind of thing goes for this i've set this pin code to the same as the keypad pin code to the same as the key the pin code it will broadcast uh when we walk into so we have pin code a when we walk into it and we walk into the this is the little uh, detecting range which is pretty small but you can make it a lot bigger there's all sorts of different um, you can increase the width, the depth, you can, you can make the, the box that it detects much, much bigger. But, uh, yeah, you can walk through and it makes like an S plus door where you can walk through and it'll close, walk back through and it'll open back up for you. Really, really neat little addition. I'm sure you can do all sorts of other things like have, uh, motion detecting lights and motion, motion detecting, uh, turrets and like all sorts of other fun stuff. But I just wanted to show you guys the very, very basics of how to set up your own automated doors this is all completely vanilla arc not s plus at all just in vanilla arc can now have automatic doors which is really really cool but we're gonna check out some more items and we'll be right back and we're back i teleported over to the snow biome and i don't think it worked out properly <laughs> i don't uh oh god there's a uni um yeah i don't know my body's gone but regardless we're gonna check out some of these other things now basically the tech weapons so let's start with the tech claws. It looks super cool. Well, I don't know why my body's invisible. What level are you, man? I'm 140. Yikes. Let's do it. How much damage do they do? 10? They only do 10 damage? Am I supposed to do it 20? Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess they hit pretty fast, though. Get wrecked. Get wrecked by cheese. Yeah, yeah. You like that? Huh? You like this? You want some of this? I mean, they're pretty cool. They're a lot weaker than I expected, to be honest. But I guess 50, like, that fast is quite a bit. Does quite a bit of damage. Um, let's try now the... Oh, I guess I need to get some grenades for this. I thought it was fired off element, but it doesn't seem to be that way. Oh, okay. We're going to have to get some grenades for that. Next, we'll do the tech cruise missile, which is pretty neat. Um, okay, it's avalanching again. Let's see if we can shoot these guys with the cruise missile. Now, when you click it, you can actually set a message. Uh, get wrecked. Spelled wrong. Perfect. Okay, and... Bam! Uh-oh, didn't kill him. Now, they are. these are single-use, so uh, once you shoot it once, it uses up the whole cannon. So you have to make... I did bring a few, but we're going to run for our lives here real quick. I want to show you guys a little bit further away. You can actually fly the missile around and choose where you want to go, which is cool. So let's equip another one of these. There we go. And then pull out six. Are you coming for me, bro? All right. I just want to fly the rocket around. So it actually switches to rocket view, and you get to pilot the rocket around. Oop. If you don't crash it right into the mountain. Can you? Please. That's it. Wolverine. Sha, 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 sha. These kind of look like they build up over time or something. Because it started with like 10 damage and then by the end it's like 56, so I think it builds up over time. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I don't want to fight a whole pack of you dudes. <laughs> Come on. All right, I'm going to clear up my mess and we'll be right back. And we're back, and I still have no body for some reason, but I got rid of those dudes who were attacking me, the poop cows, and I got some grenades for the grenade launcher. So let's try this thing out. 
Um, so if you right click, you can switch through all the different types of grenade. And I'm assuming left click fires. I haven't fired it yet, though. Let's find something to shoot at. Oh, there we go. This sheep. He's got it coming. I guess there's no real aiming of the thing. What's happening? I push left click and... Oh, it fires like whatever you have loaded, like in a line. I see. So when you push left click, it loads up one of all the all the grenades you have, and then you can go through and like rapid fire them. Dude, that's pretty nuts, actually. So it, hold on, if I load. Is it loading them all again? Yeah, it reloaded them all up. Oh, and now you can pick which one you want to start with. Okay, so you load them all up with uh, left click, and then you can right click through. And you can say, I want to shoot this one. I right click. I want to shoot a regular grenade after that. And now the poison grenade. So you can like rotate around and pick. That's actually really cool. That'll be uh, some really, really fun. Like, it seems pretty balanced for PvP. Are people even going to PvP this map? I don't know. I don't PvP. Extremely small PvP -ness. Uh Let's try it on this bunch of stuff over here. Yeah. Get wrecked. Load it back up. Load her up. We're going again. Yeah, yeah. All the grenades in rapid fire. Get wrecked everything in the area. Oh, no. Except for this Therizino. Where is he coming? Oh, God. No. Bad Therizino. No. You're a bad boy. Ooh, load him up again. Load him up again, <laughs> quick. <laughs> oh, God. Oh no, I broke my chest piece. Oh god. I am just messing around in like infinite stats, by the way. If you guys are wondering why none of this stuff is killing me, it's because it's my single player and I'm just messing around. So. I don't want to be dying constantly in the video. That doesn't make for a good video. So we're just messing around with the new features and that's why I'm living. Okay. Really, really cool. The, the uh, new grenade launcher thing is actually pretty neat. Uh, fun to use, interesting concept. Uh, we're going to check out some more stuff, and we'll be right back. And we're back, and we're over here in the bog biome again. And we're going to check out the tech shoulder cannon. I had quite a difficult time figuring out how to even uh, activate this or figure out how to use the menu. You can't do anything in here. You can't do anything in your inventory. You can't put it on your hot bar. So it goes in your offhand slot. And then if you hold down right click and push E, it pulls up this menu. Um... So you have this shoulder cannon fire mode, shoulder cannon range uh, targets, shoulder, shoulder cannon. We're going to go long range, uh, shoulder, activate shoulder cannon. Did it do it? Let's go. Is it doing things? Are you going to fight things for us? Or do we actually fire it? Or is it just, I don't know what's happening. All right, those are targets. Uh, shoulder cannon fire mode. Rapid fire. Is it doing it? Is it gonna fire? What's happening? <laughs> Can I make it fire? Why doesn't it fire? Right? F? Hold down E? Right click, hold down E? Um. Fire on only wild creatures. Attack! Shoot it, shoulder cannon. Shoulder cannon, please! Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it's, not, <laughs> it's not exactly uh, overpowered. Ah! It's, it's all gone wrong. Hey, hold on. Can we... Uh, firing mode. Overcharge. There we go. So it does a huge... There. Okay. So if you do the overcharge mode, it does a huge amount of damage. It just takes ages to actually go off. <coughs> is it gonna... Oh, is it when I punch? So I punch and it makes it fire? Is that what's happening? Let's find something else. Can, there's nothing in that tells you exact at all how to use this thing. 
No? So just coincidence last time? Or Hello? Yeah, I think it just fires when it feels like it. Okay, yeah, it has nothing to do with me punching. It just it fires when it wants to, but at very strange times. It seems like. Let's, let's take this guy out. Fire! Fire everything! Fire something! That time it, it does seem like it's waiting until I punch. I don't know. Maybe the first time initially it waits until it punches. And then if it's... Uh, okay. I think that's what it is. I think it won't fire unless you punch. It tells it so it's okay. I'm like, there's a stego. We're friends. As long as I don't punch, it's going to be good. But if I punch and it aggroes it, it's going to shoot. Nope. Guess not. Okay, maybe I had to be closer. And now that it's aggro, it'll keep shooting it until it's dead. I think is how it's working. Maybe. Shoot. Hello? All right, there we go. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this frog. Frog's our friend. Nope, it just shoots automatically. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand the rules of this thing. But it's kind of cool. Is it going to keep shooting? It's pretty powerful. And it uh, seems like it'll defend you pretty well. Shoot the tape jar. Shoot it. It's super dangerous. Shoot it again. Shoot it. But yeah, um, kind of interesting. The shoulder mounted tech gun. What is it? Tech. The tech shoulder cannon. We'll be right back. And we're back. We're over here in the ocean biome again with the last and hopefully not la uh, least item of the day. We're going to be talking about this. The unassembled tech hover skiff. So uh, I got one here. You can right click and then construct. So construct. Okay. And what the heck? <laughs> uh, okay. That's not what I expected at all. And it. Um, oh, this is the zero fuel element. Okay. Hold on. I have some element. Does the element go in there? Does that make you happy? Are you happy now? Can we drive? There we go. Uh, landed. Landing. Whoa! Okay. So space, space bar makes you jump. Um, what on earth? Okay. So shift. You push shift, it gives you like a little speed boost. Space bar goes up yo this is crazy what is even happening right now and then you can fly around with this is there any guns oh there's okay so there's if you hold left click it puts out like a oh no you just push left click Okay, if you push left click, it puts you into like aiming mode. And then it looks like you can shoot lasers. We have hovercrafts with freaking laser beams. This is pretty amazing. Let's go. It was right click. Right click puts you into the same aiming mode. All right, so right click or left click both do the same thing. And basically you just can fly around. What on earth? This is super nuts. Look at me go. Ream. Really, really neat. Wow. Can we... And we can just land it on water, I assume. Oh, that's the wrong button. Can we... How do we go down? C? Okay, C brings us down. So space bar to go up, C to go down. Can we just, like, go anywhere we want? What if we want to go on this island here? Can we go up here? If I want to shoot that Pelagornis, I can't see anything. I can't... can literally see nothing. All right, let's... Hold on. Bring it around. Whoa, whoa, easy, easy. Whoa. All right, it's a little, it's a little unruly. Let's see if we can shoot this. Pelagornis is asking for trouble. Pew. Come on. Pew, pew, pew. How about this one? Oh, there we go. We're hitting him. Are we... Wait, what? Wait, what? 
You can tractor beam him in? That's not even, it's not a laser, it's tractor beam. Look, I brought him in and trapped him. What the heck? Does that mean you can like bring him in for, wait, what? You can bring him in for like capture or something? That's super crazy. Can I like shoot him out now? How does this work? I've released him. And he falls into the ocean. What? Dude, that's really crazy. I wonder if that's like going to be a new method for tame. Like if you can tame things like that or really neat. Let's get another one. Let's do it again. Come here. Get tractor beamed. You're falling into my tractor beam. Maybe. Why aren't you getting tractor beamed? Hello? Oh, there we go. We got that one. Get tractor beam, pal. Huh, really neat. Oh, that's going to bring up all sorts of different new ways to tame things and all sorts of other fun stuff. But that's going to do it for today, guys. That's all the new items in Genesis and how they work and what they do. So if you guys like this video, please do me a huge favor and flex on that like. Wait, hold on. Come on. Do it. We're going to do it. Flex on that like button. Yeah. And for more daily video game awesomeness don't forget to subscribe man i'm gonna go uh fly this thing around some more because it's pretty sweet and capture some more things in my uh tractor beam i love you guys i'll see you guys next time cheese